Josh, picture this. It's winter. Okay. You're outside. Okay. It's cold, it's gloomy, it's snowy, maybe your feet are wet because you haven't worn proper footwear. This feels targeted. What do you do? I will go inside, sit by the fire, scroll on my phone, have a lovely time. That sounds wonderful. Unfortunately, if you have solar panels on your roof, if it's cold and gloomy and snowy outside, they have to stay up there. They can't go inside and scroll on their phone. No way. I'm Charlie. I'm Josh. And today we're going to be talking about how solar panels typically perform in a UK winter, what it means for your energy bills and whether it's actually something to be concerned about. And we are Sunsave. We offer the UK's first solar subscription and we'll talk about that much more later in the video. Let's get wintry. Right Josh, let's go for the jugular. Do solar panels work in winter? They do. Solar panels only require daylight to produce electricity, not sunlight. And since there's daylight throughout the winter, they work throughout the winter. Okay, so roughly how much electricity could a solar panel system produce in the winter in the UK? Uh, a solar panel system will produce about 11% of its total annual output in the winter. So if you have a four kilowatt peak system, that means it'll produce about 3,400 kilowatt hours across the year if it's in the middle of England with normal irradiance. Therefore, your solar panel system will produce about 374 kilowatt hours of its total annual output in winter, let's say, February, January and December. Okay, so about 25% of the year, but only 11% of a system's total annual output. Yes, exactly. So if solar panels only need daylight and they still work in winter, why is output so low in winter? Have you even experienced winter? Generally, the days are shorter, the sun is lower in the sky, and there's much more cloud. And this all combines to make for less daylight. And while sunlight isn't incredibly necessary for solar panels, you'll also get fewer bright sunny days in winter. Josh, all this talk is making me absolutely dread winter. Josh, I have a new image for you to imagine. Let's say it's mid-December. I've got panels on the roof. They're producing a little bit of electricity, but not loads. I'm cosy inside. Maybe I'm having a Baileys in the bath. Mm. Do I still need to rely a little bit on our old friend, Mr. Grid? Yes, indeed. You will need to import a fair chunk of your electricity from Mr. Grid because your panels won't be producing much in the winter. Doesn't sound great. Don't worry though, the rest of the year your solar panels will be working fantastically well and you'll even export a lot of your excess electricity to the grid in summer in particular. So across 12 months, financially okay? Financially fantastic across 12 months. Tell me more. In autumn, your solar panel system will produce about 20% of its total annual output in spring, this will rise to about 30%, and then in summer, this figure will increase to a massive 40%. Wow, okay, so in summertime, that's when your solar panel system is at its most productive. Yes, exactly. In fact, it'll produce so much electricity that you'll often have more than you need. <laughs> oh my <laughs> If you have a battery, you'll store a lot of it in there, and it's very unlikely that you'll need to import much energy from the grid. Okay, so in the summertime, what happens to all the excess electricity that I don't use? So, all of that energy will be automatically sent to the grid and you'll be paid for it as long as you have a solar export tariff. You need to sign up to one of the many, many tariffs on offer. It doesn't have to be the one that your energy supplier provides. In fact, it can often be much more profitable to switch suppliers in order to get the best export tariff available. Okay, so while the sun shines, the solar panels make hay and during winter when the sun's less shiny, you have to buy your own hay. Yes, exactly. And the hay you make in the summer outweighs the winter hay, so you still make big financial savings. Yes, absolutely. In fact, a typical solar and battery system in the UK can save you more than 100% on your bills, which means it doesn't just wipe out your entire electricity bill, you can also make a profit. If you want to learn about the best solar export tariffs on the market right now, we have a really handy article about it, and there is a link in the description. Sunsafe Plus is the UK's first solar subscription and it is designed to unlock solar for millions of households in the UK. With Sunsafe Plus, you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. All you have to do is pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And it does stay absolutely fixed. No sneaky price rises, so you are fully protected against inflation from energy bills. You will immediately start saving on your energy bills and you will also earn income for exporting excess electricity to the grid. And these combined savings could exceed your monthly payment to Sunsave, which means you actually earn money each year despite paying a subscription. This means you don't have to wait years for payback, which is what most people have to do when they buy solar upfront. 
your best-in-class solar and battery system will also be protected by the SunSafe guarantee, which provides total peace of mind that your system will produce clean green electricity for the duration of your subscription, without you having to raise a finger. The SunSafe guarantee includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24-7 monitoring and maintenance, comprehensive insurance provided by Aviva, and downtime cover. SunSafe Plus is built to be flexible, so you're in charge of your subscription. Therefore, you can make a full or partial early repayment at any point without incurring any fees, charges, or penalties. You also legally own your system from day one, which means that you will earn 100% of the export income. We don't take a cut. SunSafe Plus also doesn't require a roof lease or airspace lease, which have historically caused problems with mortgage providers in the past. To learn more about SunSafe Plus, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. There you can read way more about our subscription, watch interviews with people who already have it, and sign up yourself. So Josh, what if things get really dark and wintry and my system gets covered in snow? A good rule of thumb is that if something gets in between your solar panels and the sun, it will reduce your system's output. Got you. So, uh, if you've been blessed with a beautiful snowy day, the downside of that blessing is that your system won't produce much electricity and you'll have to rely on our old friend, Mr. Mr. Grid. Grid. So, what do I do about the snow? Well, the most sensible thing you can do is just wait until it melts. It won't take very long and you won't miss out on much free electricity since it's in the depths of winter. Okay, but what if it just keeps topping up with snow every day? Can I be proactive about it and sort it out? Yes, you can clean it. There are a few different things to watch out though. Maybe three main things you need to care about while you're trying to clean your panels of snow. Firstly, you need to not get on the roof. I cannot emphasize this enough. You might slip, you might fall. It could be very dangerous. So, use a long telescopic pole while you're standing on the safe, firm ground. Number two, make sure the end of the cleaning pole isn't too hard or abrasive as that can damage your panels and potentially void their warranty. So, a soft material like a sponge is perfect. Okay. Number three, do not push the snow while you're standing directly below the roof as you might push it off onto yourself and that could be really painful, especially if it hits you in the face. Yes, I suppose that would be quite funny to watch, but horrible to experience firsthand. Let's talk temperatures. We've done a video before on whether solar panels perform in heat waves. They do. Uh, but now it's time to ask you, how would they perform if things got seriously cold? So there is a limit to the coldness that solar panels can experience and keep working. They're not supernatural, but it's not a temperature that the UK is ever likely to reach. How cold are we talking? We're talking about minus 40 degrees. Okay, has the UK ever come close? Uh, no, not really. The only instance where it's come close is minus 27 degrees, which has been reached on three separate occasions, all in Scotland, in 1895, 1982 and 1995. Well, that's that concern put to bed. <laughs> so Josh, we know that the UK is no stranger to cloudy weather. We often wake up to a big grey shroud in the sky. Zooming out from just winter, what kind of impact does cloud have on solar panel output? I'm glad you asked. I've got the numbers. Hit me with the numbers. So, according to physicists at Nigeria's Port Harcourt University, they did a study in 2019 that showed that light cloud cover will reduce your solar panel's output by 24%, that's your whole system, uh, compared to a clear day. Not too bad. What about heavy cloud? Under heavy cloud cover, your output will reduce by about 67%. Okay, so on a very cloudy day, your solar panel system is still producing about a third of its potential output. Exactly. So although your solar panel system won't work perfectly under cloud, and we have a lot of cloudy days here in the UK, as we've already mentioned, having a solar panel system will on average reduce your electricity bills by more than 100%. So it's clearly still worth it despite all the cloud. I've also heard of something called the edge of cloud effect. What the hell is that? Yes, so as the saying goes, every cloud has its silver lining, and this silver lining is fantastic for solar panel output. When sunlight shines through the edge of a cloud, the sunlight refracts and reflects off the water molecules inside, which intensifies the sunlight as it passes through. That is beautiful. So when sunlight passes through the edge of a cloud, it will result typically in a 47% spike in solar panel output. That's compared to sunlight that isn't passing through any clouds. That is very cool. And where have you heard about this? I've heard about that from the University of California in San Diego. Some researchers there looked into it. Splendid. And what have you stacked the edge of cloud effect so sunlight goes through the edge of two clouds? So that will result in a 63% spike in solar panel output, typically. Cop that. 
So there you have it, during winter where you're snuggled up inside, your solar panels are up on your roof, braving the elements and they're still producing electricity. Exactly, they can endure the hardest winters the UK has to throw at them and they'll still produce some electricity and then come springtime and summertime, they will thrive. If you want to learn more about solar panels in winter and solar in general, head to our website, sunsave.energy, the link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos about solar. And on our website, you can also sign up for our revolutionary solar subscription, Sunsave Plus, and find out if you're eligible. Goodbye.